Number one, green shot. So definitely one of the lighter applications on this list, but also has quite a bit of functionality for those who want to deep dive into this application too. On a simple level, you can take screenshots using the print screen button to activate it, and then you're able to draw the area that you require. After you let go of your area, you'll then get this drop down where you have a few different options such as copying, saving, etc. As well as opening the screenshot in the built-in image editor to edit the image further. As you can see here, I'm able to vandalize this beautiful image of this orange with your typical and basic controls relatively easily and quickly too. The magnifying glass of pixels is pretty cool as well moving around smoothly and sensibly if you get too close to the edge of your screen most notably though is the ability to specify what you want to capture whether this be of just a window for example or full screen capture and even directly take a screenshot of any application that you have running as well as offering the ability to open the last capture location by default your preferred capture location will be on your desktop you can change this along with a whole boatload of other settings by right clicking the icon in the system tray area and then going into the settings menu as you can see by the number of tabs there are quite a few options for you to play around with. Number two, Pick Pick. This application is a bit more comprehensive than the green shot tool. Its emphasis is very much on the design and editing side of things with the ability to directly edit your image in almost a Microsoft Office style application. As you can see, when I take a screenshot, I get the following UI appear, giving me access to various annotations, sharing features, and viewing options. The screenshotting is only one of the features of this application with the color picker that's built in, color palettes, pixel rulers, and the whiteboard, just to name a few. The UI is also pretty decent as well as far as screenshot applications applications go, being simple, clean, and not having that old Windows 95 aesthetic. Again, you have similar menu panels when you access PicPic from the system tray to that of the green chart application, but you also get options for the output type and the image format available to you as drop-down menus, along with a dedicated settings menu to change a whole range of options for the application. Number three, light shot. Probably one of the older ones on this list and claims to be the fastest way to take a customizable screenshot. Is this actually true? Well, to take a screenshot, press the print screen button, and then you can draw the region that you want to take a screenshot of, and all the options that you require are presented to you next to the bottom right corner of the image, which is certainly pretty logical usability wise. The annotation abilities are presented on the left side while sharing, saving and the copying abilities are presented at the bottom. Something that is also pretty handy is the fact that you can resize the screenshot after letting go to make sure you get the exact area that you need. Overall, definitely a quick and minimal workflow and this is quite apparent in the settings, but there's not too many options here really. I mean, I couldn't really find a way to save to a default area either, so definitely a quick application for simply getting the rough area you need and copying instead of saving. Number four, screenshot X. Now, if all these applications look a bit dated for your taste, well, then I don't blame you because they're passable but don't exactly match the Windows 11 aesthetic or make your screenshots look like something amazing. I would instead recommend checking out this application called screenshot X, whose whole focus is on creating aesthetically pleasing screenshots. This includes stuff like creating a backdrop for your screenshot image, adding shadows, for example, rounding the corners, etc, etc. Overall, definitely one of the more modern applications in this video in regards to how you can make your screenshots look. And not only is a modern style present, in the way that you can make your screenshots look, but also in the small details, like by adding both a light mode and a dark mode, and its general UI being better than most. Though, I would have to dock a few points for the fact that there doesn't really seem to be a centralized settings menu for, let's say, saving multiple presets. I mean, you can save one, but not more than that, as it just overwrites your current presets whenever you press save. So if you have multiple different styles, let's say, it could be quite annoying to rechange multiple settings. Not to mention, the uploading URL management is not the simplest, in the sense that if you don't copy the administrator link, there doesn't seem to be a way to get Get back at it because it's not linked to an account or anything like that from what i can see you're also limited with this screenshotting tool because you can only take window screenshots or region ones in here number five flame shot now on the topic of more customizable screenshot applications you might want to consider checking out the flame shot application which definitely seems to be on the lighter end of screenshot tools in regards to the features that it offers it aims to be highly customizable for example opening the screenshot interface up you get a dialog box open with a couple of shortcut keys laid out for you but otherwise you can just drag to select the area that you require as you can see after selecting the area, a load of controls appear next to my region, allowing me to annotate, copy, save, etc, etc. You'll also get a tools dialog on the far left for you to see your annotation history as well as change settings such as your pen color. However, the real strength of this application is in the settings where you can change the theme color, behavior regarding what happens when you take a screenshot, as well as most importantly, the controls that appear. As you can see, by simply checking and unchecking the controls from within the settings, these will be reflected when I take a screenshot next time, so I can choose to only have the controls that I regularly use. I mean, many of the applications on this list have little customization in regards to the controls that you interact with. Flameshot aims to provide you with this customization to suit your workflow. Number six, Geyser. Next up, we have the Geyser app. Despite a lot of people using it and often showing up in the top results in Google, this one probably disappointed me the most, namely in the fact that there's literally no way based on the controls that are available to me not to upload to Geyser's website and their servers. Essentially, this screenshot tool allows you to take a screenshot and then immediately uploads it to the Geyser servers where you can then choose to take action from there by downloading or deleting it. You also have an editor 
which allows you to manipulate the screenshot but to be honest i didn't really get that far into testing this application due to the issue that i mentioned previously for some people this workflow might be suitable but i think for most people the last thing that we want to be doing is uploading all our screenshots to yet another online site but other than a dedicated online functionality it seems pretty basic otherwise i mean i did like the little menu that you get at the top of the screen which hides away and expands as needed if you want to quickly activate it with your mouse but to be honest half the time this doesn't work and i think just pressing a keyboard shortcut is likely to be quicker for most people number nine snip paste which is not as commonly mentioned as some other applications on this list but has some killer features launching it from the tray by selecting the snip option you get a few controls presented to you in the bottom left corner of the screen as you can see you can switch between the element selection mode or the window detection mode as well so if i demonstrate the element detection mode whenever i hover over a particular element on my screen the application automatically detects the region and defines it so if i want to screenshot that particular area i can simply just click on it when it's selected not only this but if i want to get super deep with this i can use the pixel magnifying glass along with a wasd key to move my cursor around pixel by pixel to get to the corner of where i want to start my selection and then when i start clicking and dragging i can use the hotkeys again to find selection of the bottom corner this way i can get just at the area i need this is definitely a level of control you don't see every day and could be quite useful on high resolution large monitors instead of messing around with your mouse sensitivity or cropping in post as you can see after i let go i get a few basic controls that are presented to me as well which brings me on to the next key feature of this tool and that's the fact that you can choose to pin your screenshot as a floating window that always stays in the foreground as reference so as you can see now that i've taken this screenshot of the downloads folder icon if i minimize everything the screenshot area i took remains in the foreground which i can move around and use as a reference while using other applications for example this is such a great feature for students when you don't really want to keep taking screenshots of homework questions or other texts and just want to use them for short-term referencing if there's an underdog app on this list that you should check out and it's definitely this one. Oh, and as you can imagine there's a load of settings that you can change if you want to dive deeper into this application number eight awesome screenshot all right so you might be familiar with the common web extension called awesome screenshot but did you know that there's an installable windows application as well i mean if you love the web browser version which many people might then this is something you should definitely consider checking out with the key features being the ability to not only take captures of your screen via quite a simple and modern ui with the use of lots of icons but also record sections of your screen with granular control options such as enabling or disabling the camera microphone and sound you also have the ability to actually choose whether you want to upload to the cloud or store locally though i will mention that this is one of the few freemium softwares on this list it seems that the paid version only affects the screen recording capabilities but not the screenshotting side of things oh and it also has some basic settings if you're interested in that as well this is definitely one to check out both for your browser and desktop needs number seven mono snap right so this is probably another lesser known one but still might be useful to some people out there nevertheless i also wouldn't be fooled by the pricing and it asking you to sign in to access stuff as it is a free application and most of the paid features are for those working in businesses or teams anyway launching this screenshot tool from the tray area you'll have a few different options presented to you for both capturing and recording your screen the recording interface looks like this but we'll stick with the capturing abilities for now if you click on the capture area button the interface will open up with the pixel magnifying glass which does display the color code by the way of the pixel you're on and by reading the dialogue next to it you can get the code by pressing ctrl c so the fact that it doubles as a color picker as well would be quite handy anyway from here you can then draw your region and after letting go the editor will open up allowing you to edit and annotate the image i will say that the editor does look pretty classy with a dark interface and the button style but yeah this functions as you'd expect with various controls such as pens arrows blurring cropping renaming right from the editor as well etc etc though one of the great features of this application in my opinion is the integration with other editing software so you will notice that there's a gimp logo in the top left corner if you don't know what gimp is it's a free photo editing software similar to that of photoshop which is what i use for creating all the thumbnails that you see on this channel anyway when pressed on it will open the screenshot in gimp for you to edit even further now i assume the same thing would happen in other programs as well like photoshop if you have that installed in this case you'll know just how useful this feature could be to open a screenshot up right away in an image editor without having to save it and then press open in etc etc so yeah i think we'll leave this application here for this video number 10 share x now a screenshot list would not be complete without the inclusion of this app it was literally mentioned over and over online and even in reddit forums it was just too hard to ignore yes i went there as well to make sure that i wasn't missing out on any overall checking it out i can see why it gets a praise that it does it literally combines many of the best aspects from different tools all into one place this includes deep customization of what happens when you take a screenshot upload locations resizing the selection area snapping areas automatically as needed the pixel magnifying glass which is just such a nice feature and miss on those apps that don't have it not to mention that the ui though basic is not ugly to look at but including all this functionality does come at a cost in my opinion and that's probably the ease of use see me out here now as a new user of this tool it can be pretty overwhelming with all the options that are presented to you sure after a bit of googling and searching around as to what various controls do and tailoring it to your needs this application will serve you very well but for new users i think all these menus could be a bit much like by default why are the images uploaded to imga i think that's how you say it like shouldn't that be off to start with
but with stuff like that and with so many different controls a tutorial i feel is almost a must to benefit the fullest from this application and that's where many of the other applications on this list are more lightweight could have an edge in certain situations right i think that's enough talking about this application let's do a quick summary shall we for quickly screenshotting with no nonsense and you're not too bothered with tons and tons of features i'd recommend the light shot tool if you're someone who wants more annotative abilities in your screenshot application then i'd suggest using the pick pick tool if you want an editor to make your screenshots look the best then screenshot x is your better option and finally if you want the absolute most features in your screenshot application then be sure to check out the share x tool though if you want something a little different my wildcard pick would be the snip paste tool due to the great automatic window snapping abilities but those are only screenshot tools click here if you want to see some must-have windows apps that aren't bloatware by the way and add a ton of functionality you don't want to miss out on those so if you haven't clicked on that video for some reason then check out this video here which covers a whole load of windows 11 settings that you need to change all in a condensed video anyway like share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you later